give you there. But Ian, yeah, all, yeah. all the dogs this fella trained and all the feats he pulled off, right, the strokes he pulled and what he didn't, the greatest thing I ever see him do, I went to St Hostel and we won the St Hostel Derby. Yeah, 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 we win the St Hostel Derby. So the little fella used to live at Exeter. He put the dog in for me at St Hostel and we'd done the business, right? He never got no money there. There was only farmers that there. Mate, anyway, that. but after the race, he went, Morris, get me a little dog to run around Exeter. He said, if you could, he said, no, I'm going to pay too much. I said, no, I'll do that for you. All right, come on. I said to him, John, got to have a little dog for a fellow at Exeter. I've got one, he said, old house shy. I said, all right, house shy, all right. I said, all right, I'll ring him up. I said, look, ain't a lot of money, 300 quid, you've got to come and get it. I did job with John. Takes it to Exeter, the Exeter was round the outside of a rugby stadium, mm -hmm. right? Took it there, graded it on, lovely. After a week, the dog's dying on him. It's losing weight, heart of weight. Oh, yeah. Fortnight goes by, he rang me up, Maurice, he said, the dog's nearly dead on me. He said, yeah. Oh, he so, so I said to John, so John said, well, we'll come and get it, right? We come and got it, brought it back. He said, tell that mate you want, give me three weeks, right? Leave it in that grade and we'll come up, right? This is the truth. When the dog come and got it, the dog nearly attacked him. He went mad when he saw John. Oh, fucking loved him, the dog, yeah, right? Yeah, anyway, him. what happens? He, he's, he was there. He was, anyway. <laughs> yeah, but, Mick, but, but now Mick, he's got it right. He's back right now. He's right, right? He's given plenty of help and all the dogs really well. Get him. What's so, that? What's that? <laughs> <laughs> plenty of good food. Oh, and, nice. Good meat. Well, anyway, <laughs> what happens now? It's Jackie, Vera, me and John. We're going up in my... And we went up that old motor ride over Briggsy. Yeah. Remember? We're going up there, man, the four of us. We got to the stadium, give it to me, mate. There's the dog, take it in. We're up in the bar, the four of us. There's all the locals there, right? All the old jack lads all talking about their dogs. Now it's come to the race where we've got this fucking dog in, right? And the first one, the first one, you put a lion bruise trap, poor. He said, when that run here last time, it was a bag of fucking bones. He said, that can't win, right? <laughs> That was it, wasn't it, John? Then I said, oh, now we're going to have problems. So I said, well, mate, this dog will fucking bolt him. You do know that. Yeah. He went, don't matter. He can win off the track. I'll never get the red light here, he said. I'm the best here. He said, they won't red light me. We're just right, John, wasn't it? Right? Anyway, we're on. Up went the track. The house drive went, bang, and it's gone. Kind of, well, it's got to be a fucking red light, and it, John? It's got to be a red No. Bang, up went the result, right? Drew the money. Give the dog back to John. He said, oh, I can't have it, John. Hey, you have it now. And John, I don't know what you've ever done with it always, oh, John. You got it home somewhere, didn't yeah, you? It but it's the greatest feat right. I've seen. I mean, he's won a derby. But that was unbelievable. The dog was as fat as that, wasn't he, John? When he came back, the dog was nearly dead. Yeah. Within three yeah, weeks, he had him weeks. back. He's yeah. on the... Yeah. Oh, that was a feat and a half, wasn't it? Yeah, but oh. that's, that goes back to what you said. You've got to learn your job on the flat. Because whoever had that didn't know what they were doing, did they? No, he didn't know what he was doing, but the there's dog a lot of was people in love like with him. Yeah. There's a but lot of people like it, isn't there? Like, anyone can train a dog, but it's not everyone can feed one. That's it, feed it and look after it. And that's when they come back to him, he knows he's yeah. looked it's after. I was saying, Mick, anyone can train a good and it takes a good yeah. and a train a bad. Yes, yeah. Listen, yeah. there's plenty of them out there, and there's all these big kennels, and all these people think they've got this and got that. Get the little man who's got a dog, and some look after them dogs far superior yeah. Yeah. than the massive big... League, yeah, you know, so. all your luck. The way I've looked at it, the man, he hasn't been born that can train six greyhounds to perfection. No. He hasn't that's been right. born. That's right, that's right, because that's hard yeah. collar. Yeah, he's that's he's got these collar. trainers, these dogs, yeah. well, they're only keepers. <coughs> You're talking they're about not even keepers, feed, remind feed, us. Feed they've got 200 dog. dogs in the kennel. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, John, what you just said, I know a man who had six dogs training to perfection. I'll give you a funny story. I was making the book at Warwick Flapping Track. We went Waterford, from Inkley. Yeah. Before Inkley, we went to Warwick. Anyway, yeah, 100 yeah. yard dash one night. Yeah. All of a sudden, was was it no 100 yard, 100 <laughs> yard dash, <laughs> no priced up two to one, all the six of them. Geezer comes up, 200 quid on trap two. I said, lay you 100 quid, mate, two to one. Yes, all right, walk to one. Even, even 200, even 100, right? Two on. 400 to win two. I thought, fuck you, know, I've got to lay it. 200 to win. I've cut, yeah. kept on cutting yeah. him and cutting yeah. him, right? Yeah. 
He said to me, you'll be a good butcher, son, eh? you're cutting the bets of what I'm asking for. <laughs> anyway, the last bet I put up on the board, four to one on in an hundred dives on my children's life, my Danny's life now, said 400 to one on. I thought, you can't, I've got to lay in this. Right? You got that, right? They come out the traps, hundred yard dash, I swear to you, the dog fell over coming out the traps. As he come out, he stumbled and fell, right? Fuck, you know, I've had a touch here, right? The dog got up and won by three lengths, right? When the fella's come up for his money, his name, a big businessman, you would all know him, he was called Arthur Kane. He owned, he owned a bigger club, the working man's club near Perry Bar. And he come up to me, I'll give him the money. He said, son, he said, you thought you were clever, didn't you? I said, yeah. He said, let me give you a little warning. He said, you know them six dogs in the race? I said, yeah. I don't mind. All these. All these. Oh, he said, oh, he enters them from all parts of the country. country yeah. They're all pets. One dog's 15 years old, yeah. one dog's Gary, 13. And that, they was all that. I've well, never, ever, and I thought I was clever. Well, we'll give you that one back, right? Yeah. You ain't done the same show. No, two, two open races at Hunting then, right? The week before the Hunt Cup. Mickey says... What, flapping track? Yeah, we've got, we got two races there. He's got the 12 dogs. Now, some of them couldn't get out their no. own way, some of these dogs. Couldn't get out their own way, can't. seriously. Right? Anyway, we go up there, the first one, got your few quid on, bang, it won, didn't it? Right? Now, they're getting the second race to come out, they're getting the dogs ready. He come down, then the old Bernie went, Mickey, no, the dogs stopped dancing. You've had me once tonight, you ain't having me again. He pulled, no, pulled the race off, didn't he, Mick? Unbelievable. Oh, you had the 12 dogs? Well, Margie Coleman's, I had loads of them. She had everything. Twelve. had everything. She had all 12 dogs. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. See why I'll start, I'll tell you what, what <laughs> Morris, the best story, the best story, we went to, um, what's that place you were talking about? Up, up, Colville? No, where well, you, yeah, Colville. Yeah. I took my daughter up to Colville, and she was only a kid then, yeah. and of course, and I had two dogs there. I had a good dog. He weren't registered with the NGRC, <laughs> right? But he was a good dog. And uh, I had a little thing that shone like a pin, couldn't grade, so he weren't registered either. So I had a, with this shone like a pin, and I put all full of earth over this other dog. So and I've got an old bit of rope round its neck, and she's holding it with all the collar, and she's talking like, I said, talk in your proper accent, your London accent. And I done me, hang on. <laughs> I were here, you know, I, I just got dog off couch and it were, I entered it, were, it didn't know where it's going to run or what, no, not, but uh, you got to open, so I entered it, to, or anyway, I entered it in the open. So anyway, enter this dog, she's walking about, this geezer's got out the Range Rover, uh, the big Range Rover, they come out, top lads, ah, he says, uh, you won't be just tonight, fucking best dog in, we brought cock at Bolton or something out, out like that, fucking anyway. So he was going on, rattling on, you know, they got out there with the barbers and the Range Rovers. I said, I were just here for, laugh me, I'm, I'm just coming, with, you know, with gum shingling and whatnot. So anyway, my daughter's prayed of this one. They've given us fucking, in the flat, they give us three to one. Now they normally, it was two to one, two to one, uh, and you'd uh, go out. Yeah. No, it's uh, doings at uh, Colville. 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 It, normally, two to one, two they to one. They weren't bad there though. No, uh, it, normally you'd nick out, if you was a what's name, you'd no. go out five to two. They give us three to one, this fucking dog. Of course, these other boys have gone in. Bang, we've gone, had a grand on, got a grand on at three to one. Got, that was a lot of money then. All spread out. Anyway, fucking bang, it's gone home, and it's, and it's equal to clock, and it was called Minute. And this dog, and the other one was still fucking running. My dog was, he had a collar and he was still running around, the blue dog. And uh, what a lovely touch. Yeah. And we'd booked, there's a little pub just up yeah, from there, up the top. Yeah, that's right. right. Yeah, well, that's what right. I did, before yeah. he went in there, yeah. I took yeah. four people, uh, uh, the greengrocer. Really the greengrocer. The greengrocer. Uh, another geezer called Keith, this fat bloke. And he's somebody else. Big Steve, we live at Well, anyway, the corner, well, right. Yeah. So I took him and I said, I mean, you know, have, 30 quid for your wages, then a dinner. Or right, you can have score on a dog. So they'd have a score on a dog, obviously. So, Roy the uh, Roy Green no, so was a bit, no, girl, he was a bit cagey, he, 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 he was a cagey. So he, so he wanted the 30 quid because he was worried, you know what I mean? So anyway, I, we used to go, I went in the pub beforehand, before the, the meeting, like about half hour. I said, got a table for six. I said, and uh, you got a bottle of champagne over there? Well, you've got no champagne else. We'll go and get some. I'll be back later on. Where are you going? I said, no matter where we're going, we'll be back in half hour. 
laid it all on, went back, weighed on, and he didn't have champagne, but we had a good drink, yeah. loaded all the grub, and away we went. You know what I mean? They but, were good nights. And they was how we did it. But they were the good nights you But remember. Mickey, they, yeah. was, they was good days. But you've got to talk about the bad days. Yeah, when you lose, yeah. Listen, no, I'll tell you a story about, I'll tell you a big one. A the, real bad day. No, a real no, bad, this is the, the worst, worst day. bad day you've had, right? <laughs> yeah. Johnny McGee, John. Jimmy Lesney, oh, and blimey. me, in his old brown Datsun, right? Oh, right? This is before the we, Mercedes. We right? go up to <laughs> Bed Walty in Wales, right? right? He's got two good dogs. They right, are right. good dogs, right? right? Don't know about the name of the dogs. Yeah, yeah. good dogs. Johnny said, right, well, all right. He walked the first one, Jimmy Lindsay, right? Have had that one. You can walk the next one, Morris. I said, yeah, I'll do what we want. Anyway, first one comes up. It's no show, is there, John? Don't put no chalk on the ball. Now they're going in. He's shouting out to Jimmy, pull the fucking dog out, pull it out. Yeah, he yeah, takes yeah, no yeah, notice. Yeah. Well, it's one up the track, didn't it, John? Right? <laughs> so, oh dear, we ain't got. Uh, Nothing. Uh, so, Jim John said, I'll walk the next. I said, You can't walk the next. They're fucking tumbling. I'll walk the next. He said, You watch this. Anyway, same thing happened. He's still down. No chalk on the ball. Don't put us up again. Oh, John, John. Nothing, nothing. He went, well, fuck him. He pulled the dog out, lifted it over the top, walked through the crowd, they were all screaming and shouting, weren't they, John? We got round the fucking round the other side of the track, where the car park is, right? Got the two dogs, put them in the motor. Jimmy Lynn is shouting out, hey, you bastards, and putting his hands up to him with all that. He puts his foot down, it's time to motor, he don't stop. Oh. <laughs> don't stop. Now you've got half a Wells coming around out of the bridge. Trying to chase you. I've never been so free in my life. Anyway, the motor fired, didn't it, John? Right, and we come up. All that way to bed, well, we, two oh, runners, no. never got a penny. They had a bad night. Cool. They had yeah, a bad yeah, night. Yeah, well, anyway, the first one was Morris come down. We was on our way to getting ready to go to Wales. To, to Skewen, to, to, to Skewen. Says me, Morris, Stan Harris and Bob the Hat. Well, Bob the Hat's got a, a white Ford estate car. We've got the motor in and we're all in there. Well, Morris has got his load of meat. He's got, he's, he used to sell a bit of meat and he's given his meat to me. Well, he's got fucking rid of it. It stunk. It was rotten. Yeah. Right? And I, 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 I fucking opened the bag. Morris wouldn't have sold it to you. No, no. No. <laughs> no. He'd have sold it to me. Give it to me. I went, mean, anyway, I've got this fucking meat. I went, God, jeez, sling it out the door. I left it outside the door. As we're getting in the door to go to Wales, there's a lamppost. Well, the fucking door's open. Bob the Axe reversed and took the fucking door off. Oh. Took the side, of, took the old door. So we Right, we've got to be in Wales. We've only got about three and a half hours or something. So anyway, we're putting string around it, weren't we? String, bits of wire. Got the door going. We get down to Wales. Anyway, we gets the dog out of the motor, gets in there, and we're all, all spread out. Got our ideas what book we're going to take. And one of us used to have a light, a light marker. You'd, you'd have the marker, man. When he'd go, you'd all go. So anyway, uh, Bob the Hat's sitting there. He's got a pint of beer in his hand. And some geezer has gone... And he's, he's, knocked the, he's knocked the actual pint of beer out of Bob's hand. And as I'm there, Bob was going to start. I went, oh, I said, don't worry. He says, he, uh, he's deaf and dumb, he says. <laughs> he says, he, he don't drink. I said, don't worry about that. I couldn't fucking <laughs> say we was, he, if he opened his mouth, we'd lost our market. <laughs> we were like, you know, so yeah. I said, uh, he said, well, what are you here for? He said, well, he's got a puppy in the big race. He said, well, you're in a bird, really big race with your boy. I said, well, I said, I don't think you win anyway. So anyway, Bob the app, we gets the fucking geezer. The geezer goes away, but I said, fuck me, Bob, we nearly slipped up. We goes on, we had the money on, bang it, every book. Fuck me, and he runs against, and I didn't know that the Benz was Pete, at the, the Pete Benz. Boom, he's about half a dozen clear, and then all of a sudden he stopped he in the, he checked in the peat. Well, I thought, fuck me, this Joe dog, this Joe dog's come along. All of a sudden he's got out of the peat, he's gone bang. A new track record. <laughs> and we got, we drew the money, drew the money, and the, oh, we, I see the geezer, I said, don't knock his fucking drink over next time, else you're going to get a clump. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I said, don't you get a right hander. <laughs> he went like that. We got when I first started in the game, I was a little boy. War was still on. And... People didn't, re people didn't realise there was dogs still running during the war, but oh, they were. Yeah. But we had three flapping tracks in Stratford. One called Temple Mills, so in Temple Mill Lane. Mills, yeah, yeah, yeah Temple Mills, Mills. Right, really right. Really and we had, we had, we had Marsgate Lane and Puddin Lane, all three little tracks there. Well, and in then, Stratford. Yeah, and the nearest one to that was at Enfield, Shelley Jones's. Now, my dad had good dogs in the time. He, had, he was a very wealthy boy, my old man. And the back of our shop, he had stalls, but the back of our shop, 
He had stables, kennels, and a big pigeon loft. He was in everything, right? He used to take me, he took me all over the world, especially horse racing, right? And they called me the pilot at Temple Mills. As it was coming, old Stan Harris uh, who owned it, right? He was a very good friend of the Chandlers, right? And, well, I, used to, and I used to come in with these little dogs on there, and he used to go, here he comes, the pilot's here with the aeroplanes. Yeah. He had two dogs around, it was unbeatable, my father. Mary Ann, a bitch, named after my mother, and a, a lovely big black dog called Black Diamond. They was unbeatable, right? It proved it art. we went to Stowe and they won everything under rules, but they was flapping in them days. But that's where I was about. In them days, you got to realise that you could walk from my house, as long as you could walk all right, you could walk with seven or eight tracks, Gary. Yeah. What clubs? Yeah, yeah. Everything's so fine. They'd walk a dog, a trainer, would walk a dog yeah. to the track, wouldn't they? From walk Stratford, he'd walk, walk with it. You go back to well, the 60s. Leave Piccadilly Circus, you'd do what? Yeah, all 15, London. 20 tracks yeah. within an hour. London, yeah. Within yeah. an hour, yeah. from, say, yeah. from the centre of London. Yeah. When I started, I started off... The... Well, Ryos was yeah, going in there. Yeah, started yeah. off in the early 60s. I got a kennel on license to a Fred Rosendale. No, you got a Fred, Fred Wiseman. You got no, 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 no. Yeah. Well, Fred, Fred uh, Rosendale down at... Blackmore. Correct. Yeah, that's right, yeah. West End? Blackmore. I had, uh, so he, he, he had a course very wealthy man. He had a tyre shop in Tooting. That's, right, right, that's, that's right. That's right. That's right. Stan knows. Yeah. And I had, uh, he had two tree dogs there. He asked me to do them for him. Aaron's Bush, Aaron's Lass, and Drum and Glory. He's the best dog. Not a bad dog, Drum and Glory. Drum and Glory now. Good dog. Good dog. Uh, Drum and Glory won everything. Everything. Lovely dog round the show, John. The only thing he didn't win was the Derby. Yeah, John Bassett had it after. Yeah, that's right. Oh, yellow printed, John Bassett. And the yeah. night, that was the biggest trophy I ever held, was the night when he won the Cesarovich in West Ham. It was that height. Mm -hmm. The big trophy. Yeah, yeah, it was used as a little bit in Fred's house. He bought all that. Done a few yeah. jobs at South End, and that, well, that was going for him with the dogs. Then I left there, he took over. He got a lease off of Madge Barnes, where Graham Sharp was. Peaceful Kennels. Mm -hmm. I run that for a long time, till I had a bust up with Graham, when Graham come on the scene. But Graham didn't know a lot about greyhounds then. Was that Firefield, John? Was that, that no, way? peaceful. Oh, peaceful. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. I went for my own license, and they refused me anything? for twenty years. All of that. Mm. All of that. Refused you, John. Refused yeah. me a license. Yeah. And it, they knew, John. Barrett was the cause of that. Yeah, but you but see, at, at the end of it, when it comes to it, like there might be a touch at Hackney. Yeah. No, the dog would win, I'd do a dog for you, yeah, dog to Mickey, they knew. Yeah. after the gamble. In them days, it. John, that was hard to get a licence. It was. John would be refused a licence, I was refused a licence. Well, if they uh, come around... Ernie round. Gaskin, old Ernie Gaskin, yeah. was refused yeah. a licence. Yeah. Nicky yeah. Savage yeah. refused a licence. If they come yeah. around... Nicky yeah. Barrett refused a licence. Yeah. He used yeah. to come round your house, come round your house, Barrett. If, if yeah. Fred yeah. Underhill, yeah. Fred Underhill was in charge of the... Yeah. If he came round yeah. and you used straw for bedding on the dogs, and there was straw on the floor of the kennel, your license was relinquished straight away. Yeah, very strict. Now, how can you yeah. keep the bedding from the dog jumping up and down the bed yeah, off yeah, the floor? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, uh, that was yeah. the that was Should the. Catch, Twenty years, that? John. You yeah. don't ever give Twenty up. years. Indiana, I got the license. I tell you when I got the license. Nineteen eighty. I remember. Eighty six, eighty seven. And the only way I got it was through the solicitor. Well, eighty five. I got the license through my the solicitor in South End. He, he knew the dog job, he had dogs. So he got under Underhill and he told Underhill straight, he said, there's only one way you can control John McGee. Give him the give license. license. Give him the license, give then you've got the him. License. All these strokes and all you hear all the time is going back to him. They're all screaming. Give him the license. And the day he gave me the license, I turned around and said to Fred, no, no. I had it three weeks when I lost it. Lost it. Yeah, lost yeah. it. Pretty much. Yeah. I lost it for life. Yeah. yeah. In Peterborough. Yeah. 
Yeah. I was setting up a touch with Skull of Champ and a bitch I had. Skull of Champ is yeah. a remembrance. Yeah. The bitch I had would beat him out of sight. And listen to what I'm telling you. Mm. And she was never qualified. And I was qualifying her and she was having her last qualifying trial in Peterborough. She was very nervous. And I had to pick up, I said to her, he said, don't shout or nothing until I catch this little bitch. Bollocks, I got her. I thought I'd give you that. But, but anyway, she took off because he started shouting and roaring. She's gone round and round and round the middle of the track. This is after racing in Peterborough. She's gone round and round and round. And in the end, she's come over near the, where the, where the roller is. And there's a roller there. Sean, I tell you, them vibrating rollers with the handles on it, you know. And she come round, and as he's let her roar at her again, and as she's twisted, the arm of the roller's gone in there and out the other side. She's swinging on it. There's claret everywhere. So the geyser thinks it's a joke. He come over, I went bang. I bust his jaw, and I don't know how many pieces. He was in hospital for a long, long time over. It was in all the headlines of the papers, the most violent person ever to go on a dog track. You remember it? No. Well, the man, yeah, the man had, the man had owned the track was the judge, the magistrate, the Lord Mayor of everything, Perkins, Rex Perkins. Yes, yes, yes. He was the top man. Dr. Josh Edgerton, the engineer and geyser. He put in the paper, he said he's got a load of minders, this man, Derek Law and all them's his minders. And I said, who's it? Derek Law, I know Derek Law. Derek Law's not a minder of mine. But anyway, all this, that the license is gone. Unfit to have to foot a foot, barred for life from Peterborough and everything. Did you ever get him back to him? Well, I waited about two years then. And the, the, the solicitor from South End, what was his name? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, yeah. I know the no, fellow. No, I used him. No, Clive, no, Clive Williams. That's him. Brilliant. Brilliant. He knew the girl. And he, and him, he, had him. he went up, but I was, I was still pulling the strokes. Yeah, doing them down yeah. everywhere. I had the kennel full of dogs down no, there. More permits. Oh. Yeah, yeah, Barnfield Brook, she was me. Yeah, yeah. she's a very, very good bitch. Gary remembers her, didn't Carly, he? Carly, was, was she in this? No, no, she, no, no. Carly trained her own one. No, she Carly trained her own one. No, we had Barnfield Brooks. She ran the Coventry St. Ledger. Won the um, fruit. The fruit? Yeah. The fruit. The I still buy dogs off that same man. Do you? Tom Lee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He works in the cheese factory in McGeeley, just outside your... Yeah, that yeah. be your biggest yeah. win, Paul? Yeah, probably, but not the biggest that gamble, category, but that was, category, that was a category one winner. Um, but I was actually offered 50 grand for her, you know, and as Mickey said earlier, like when she won, when she done the clock at Coventry, the fella come up to me up, he, he was quite well off the boat, he said to me, would you take 50,000 for us? I told him I said to the missus, do you want to sell up? Oh, no. So, so we, we, he was there, yes, he was there, Tom. And he was up there, and, and, and I, and, and I, yeah, I, listen, listen, I wouldn't, have parted, I wouldn't have parted for a million pounds because that was part of my family. We had her in the house, actually trained her from the house. No, I wouldn't, no, 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 no
It might wibble, isn't it? It might wib weeble, wib weeble, 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 that's weeble, it. Weeble, weeble, right. So anyway, I knew him from, I think, he was somewhere yes, else. Yeah. Anyway, so I knew Mick anyway. So anyway, I says, look, whereabouts is his shop? And then all that. So I said, well, you better fucking tell him. I said, he owes a lot of money out here. He's going to get sorted and done. And I said, I'm telling you straight. But no matter what, who's going to do it, but he's going to get done. We don't get fucking paid up. You can tell him, Mike. Anyway, phone rang. We need him fucking paid up. And Mike Middle got, give us the money. Yeah. But fucking, now I'll tell you what, if he hadn't have got on his case, yeah, he'd have where just where done a runner. I didn't know where to get the truth. And, and another time, we'd had a coup at, um, uh, where we had to pick the money up? Uh, Wembley. We'd had a coup at Wembley, had a double up. And, and the fella, this Fred Smith who owned Atlanta anyway, John knows him yeah, well. Fred, John yeah. knows him well. Well, anyway, listen, this dog had been gone lame. Anyway, brings him back for this Patsy Byrne memorial. And I remember Patsy Byrne. So anyway, he was a similar to John's dog. You held him on a fucking lead and he didn't do anything in the paddock. He was standing there like that. But as soon as he got the track, his head went like that. Well, anyway, I stood him in there and I'm in the paddock with, um, who was the racing manager at Wembley then? Um, I, anyway, I can't Jim think of it. Jim Kremen? Uh, Kremen, I think. Kremen, uh, or, yeah. Anyway, yeah. so I'm in there, so I am said I said to somebody, this fucking dog, I think he's been fucking got out, I said. And, uh, the boy was walking in the monk, he had a, like, a little patch on his head, and a uh, little of mine. So anyway, <laughs> he, went, he went, the monk was holding him, he yeah, said, and we've had, we've had yeah, this we bet, we've had this, he had some money on all the outside of him. Yeah. He ain't got a done, has he? I said, of course he fucking ain't. I said, get on the dog and parade him. So he's parading him, first of all, Bang, he's gone in. We've had seven to two, because Honey Set's got one in there, I'd been in or something or other. Anyway, we get on with the second one, and now she's an up and coming marathon bitch, this citywide Susie. So we've doubled up with Johnny Jenkins, with the boys, they've took the money. We've all had it on, gone up there, fuck me, she's four clock holders in the race, mm. she's gone and hosed up. So we've got the double, so he couldn't pay us all out, the money. So Taylor's old woman, she, she was filled up with all this money and then a load of money, I had a load of money. We had to go down to um, Walthamstow to Frames, the snooker hall yeah. that Johnny owned, yeah. and we picked up the other 10,000 from the snooker hall and he weighed on the other 10 grand. Yeah. And yeah. That, that, that was straight on, that yeah, was yeah. on, on, you, you know. You get some money on down at Wembley. Oh, oh, yeah. Wembley was yeah. a yeah. frightening we had a bit. It is with great pleasure that I have been invited by Mrs. Sandu, my friend, to open the stadium. Country Stadium. Six hundred mile round trip. You've come up again and proved the pundits wrong. They said you wouldn't get out of the traps. What are you going to do with him now? Can we see you in the laurels, or are you going to you're going to rest him and use the shrewd don't option? Know. Don't know. We'll speak to the owners and see what the owners say. And see how do you, how do you fancy this amongst everything else Ken's had in his stable over the years? Oh, this is the best. It's a bit special. This is the best, yeah.
Crony, the winning owner, delighted that uh, the dogs win. Mel's pal, the trainer wasn't here to see it. I understand, Larry? Where's no, he gone? He's in Ireland. He's just for a week solid. He's not going out to buy any dogs. Uh, he's, he goes out there every year. We trust that somebody will give him a ring tonight and tell him the good news. Oh yeah, he's back tomorrow in the evening. Did you back the dog, Andy Post? Yeah, we had uh, me and my friend had 150 pound on at 40 to one, six thousand two hundred and fifty. But I had 100 pound of it, so. I won £4,000. Well, John Aitken, General Manager here at uh, Canterbury, it's been a marvellous night, the crowd looks good. How successful an evening has it been, John? I would think it's, if not, definitely nearing a record crowd. And I would expect the bookmakers, totalisator, and everybody's going to be happy. Mm -hmm.